Okay, now I can remember on January 17th, video 36, on a Monday, because all the videos I make, I, I put a date on it. I can remember when I said that I apologize for the freezing up of the video and that the video is freezing up and it's due to the low quality of the camera that I had on the phone tablet or tablet phone. It's a tablet that you can use as a phone. And I said that God would provide. I said that God would provide eventually and that I'll have a device. I'll have something that I can use to make videos that have very, very good quality. And God, in His sovereignty, He has given me a father who is very supportive of my ministry and is very, very financially blessed and financially capable of funding my ministry until I have more donors. And they, the other donors, will be with my father, helping me with the financial aspect of the ministry. Because when you are a evangelist or a pastor or someone who does ministry full time and you don't have a job, you need donations. And God has ordained that people make a living from the gospel if they are called to do so. So it's not something that carries with it any shame or any laziness for those who decide to give their life over to ministry and make a living from preaching the gospel or sharing the gospel in ministering the gospel. So I'm doing full-time ministry and I'm grateful that I have a father. God has blessed me with a father who can fund the ministry and help me with all the things I need, etc. Now, I'm going to be going out preaching tomorrow. Today is Wednesday, uh, the 26th. Tomorrow is the 27th. I'm going to be preaching tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Thursday. I had promised yesterday that I was going to put up a video about the blood of Christ, but instead of doing that tonight, I'm just sharing this testimony that uh, today I got a cell phone. My father bought me a cell phone. And this cell phone is very, very advanced. It's very, very uh, capable of making high quality videos and very capable of storing a lot of information that I am going to be needing for my ministry, in my study and in my devotionals. And I just want to, you know, say to anyone out there who's a Christian, who's a child of God, God always comes through. He always does. He never fails. And He is always on time because His time is what matters. He's always on time. He's an on-time God. And He blessed me with an early birthday present because in two days, I'll be 27. In two days, I'll be 27. Tomorrow is the 27th, and then on the 28th, I'm going to be 27. And God is an amazing God. God is a good God. I had no idea that I was going to get a phone, but my dad, he came through. Because God has ordained him to do so. And all of this is by God's grace. All of it. So, as you can see, everything looks better if you compare this camera with all my other videos except for the ones in St. Lucia because I had a company phone when I was a fitness instructor in St. Lucia. They gave me a company phone because every manager gets a company phone and I used to use the company phone to make YouTube videos. So you'll see a few videos of mine with a good quality uh, but after I resigned all i had was the tablet and it didn't really have very good quality so everything was messed up except for the audio so you can compare uh those videos the previous ones with this video and you'll 
sorry, you'll see that this is way better than all the other videos I made in the very, very recent time. The very, very recent videos. Pretty bad. And uh, I can use this phone for my ministry tomorrow. Uh, street preaching, street evangelism. I'm going to be using this phone to record the whole thing. And then I'll be able to post it on my YouTube channel, knowing that the quality is great, knowing that the quality is good. And then tomorrow on the 27th, I'll post the video about the blood of Christ and what it means, uh, how it is to be used in prayer and how it is used and if it's wrong to be used in that way. Because there are people who say stuff like, I plead the blood, stuff like, I cover you under the blood, stuff like, uh, God protect me under your blood and stuff like that. Are those phrases biblical? Does the Bible teach that stuff, etc.? I'm going to be putting up a video about that tomorrow, but this video is just, you know, to encourage those of you out there. If you are going through something right now where you need God to provide for you, something you need, He will. If you're a child of God, He will, because He always comes through for His people. Always. Always. And we are so easy to forget. We're so easy to forget that he is a providing God, that he is a protecting God, that he is a faithful God, and that he is the living God. And all the other gods are dead. All the other gods are fake, false, non-existent. Only have a reality in the minds of the worshipers who made them in their mind or made them with their hands it is amazing the god we serve and that we serve him because of his grace uh, thank you again for all your support and if there are any of you out there who would like to be a donor you are welcome to do so just give me a personal message on my facebook channel or a dm on my facebook channel or facebook page rather but if you can't donate, pray. Pray for me. Keep me in your prayers. I'm speaking to the Christians out there. You can donate to my ministry by praying for me. Praying that God uses me and that God uh, speaks through me as I speak his word from the Bible. And that his people will hear his voice and they will come. If you're unable to give any financial support or financial help, give me some spiritual help by praying because a Christian one can never have enough prayer prayer works prayer works that is what God has ordained for us to do for him to do stuff for us in our lives sometimes he works without us praying and we Feel the guilt and the shame knowing that we could have prayed and be a part of the reason why God answered that particular request rather than God just doing something that we needed but we never prayed for it. And that is sad that, uh, you know, you missed an opportunity to be a part of something good. So prayer is really, really important. Prayer is very, very necessary. And I ask for all those who listen and all those who follow my YouTube channel and all those who uh, listen to me on Facebook, pray, pray for me. Keep me in your prayers. I am about to be 27 years old. I'm young. God called me very young. I've sinned in the past. I've done a lot of things and... God's grace, and by God's grace alone, I am a believer. I am a Christian. I am a child of God. By His grace and His grace alone. If it wasn't for Him, I would be in darkness, doing abominable sins, 
I would be a man without peace, a man without humility, a man without selflessness, a man of selfishness, a man of selfishness, a man who's only concerned about his pleasure and his enjoyment. But by God's grace, I'm a man who is after God's own heart by his grace. And I can proudly call myself the least of God's servants. So pray for this, the least of God's servants, that he may do the will of God. Thank you for your support. God bless you. God keep you. And God, let his face shine upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen.